mutations, my fellow nerds and others uh, like this is General Hana, and today I'm going to be showing you how to oh screw up your model. That's great. Uh, it should be fine. Or not? I don't know. Not right now. <laughs> not gonna deal with it right now. So yeah, I uh, wanted to show you the basics of um. Thank God. Okay, the basics of animation. Um, in Blender. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to be, like, ultra re prepared for, like, this, but I guess not. I guess not, because I really thought, yeah, I'm going to be so prepared. Oh, I'm, it's going to be so great. It's going to be so beautiful. And then I realized, oh, right, yeah, it's probably going to screw me up so hard. I guess that's fine, whatever. Okay, um... Yeah, better than before. All right, so first I'm going to show you the basic, most basic way of animating, and that is um, doing it basically step by step, every evil, every evil, every frame, and uh, by that I mean using keyframes. Um, yeah. So let's say I want to mm, let's actually pose him first. Yes, this is the male model, so it's not really gender neutral. Cause I have one that has like a, like a, like a little bit more coming out of it. I guess you can say. Um, I wish that that was less skinny. Okay, so go ahead and whoops, twist. Uh, do that. Whoops. So there we go. Now we have our character posed simply. Uh, actually, sorry, I'm gonna be picky. Alright, uh, we can get out of orthographic mode. So, let's go ahead and start animating, since we have him posed. So, select your armature. If you don't already have an armature, um, that's simple. Uh, this is just for people that do have an armature. If you would like me to make a tutorial on sp specifically on how to make an armature, um, I will gladly do so because, uh, <laughs> well, maybe not. But I'm not a very good. I'm not very good at making armatures. But you know, it's it would. I mean, I'm meh. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go into pose mode, or you can go ahead and press Shift Tab. Nope, not Shift Tab. Do not press Shift Tab. <laughs> That's what I was pressing, though. Darn it. I had sticky keys on. Oh, right. Wrong thing. I had sticky keys on, and I found out some new things. Like, uh, if you're in edit mode, you can press shift tab. Control tab. Yeah, and you can do mesh select mode. It's, I don't know. Whatever. Off topic. So, let's go ahead and make it to where his head tilts. And then, like this. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, if, and if you would, it would make everything a lot easier, press Shift-Tab, and it'll snap, um, to every increment, or to every vertex, face, or volume. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it like this, though, since it, it just makes everything a lot easier, and I'm going to go into orthographic mode, um, because why not? So, let's first go ahead and move his head, and... First, we'll make sure we're on frame one. Press I with the head um, bone selected, and now we're going to pick rotation. Or just to be safe, I would do location rotation scale, or as I like to say, local scale. Or, I don't know, whatever. So press that, and then we can pr use the arrow keys to go up ten more frames. Let's go to frame eleven rotate on the y-axis then just tilt his head a little bit and that'll be perfect. Press I and then location rotation scale. If you were to choose something uh, like one of these other ones other than the rota rotation location scale then you would have a problem because it's not the same um, thing. So now if you go back to frame 1 and press Alt A you'll see that your character's head has tilted. As 
and now since this is a little bit weird so we'll go let's see eh, that looks about where it hits it so we'll go ahead and rotate sorry little bubble thingy we'll rotate this on the y-axis and just move it down or we'll press first we'll, we'll do the uh, press I location rotation scale just see where it, the head rotation ends and then go ahead and rotate this y-axis downwards until it's kind of like there and then we can press I location rotation scale now as we can see this kind of went off so um, we'll once this start go, starts going into the body we'll go ahead and do that okay that about there I'll start it location rotation scale and that's where everything ends so we'll rotate on the y-axis like that and so now it'll be like this and we'll put, do location rotation scale and so now everything works perfectly and it's all aligned alright so now let's go ahead and get the waving motion so once the head is turned we'll go ahead and we'll wait a couple frames maybe we'll go up to frame 20 press I location rotation scale then go five more frames from that rotate root R Y rotate that up a little bit and we'll have his forearm that's the one that's actually moving so we'll move that five frame we'll move that um, sorry two frames up we'll go ahead and location whoops select that one rotation that one <laughs> The one that we've been using, the location rotation scale. Also, sorry, I should probably do that. Sorry. <laughs> good idea. Good idea. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go three frame, two, three frames, and we'll go ahead and rotate y axis up a little bit. So now it'll be like that. We'll press I, go three frames more, rotate y. I, oh, I, location, rotation, scale, and one, two, three, rotate, Y, then location, rotation, scale. Uh, we'll see how good that looks, so that should be like three waves or something like that. Yeah, it's a cute little wave. I'll do a couple more, uh, just for fun, because why not? So yeah, again, rotate by pressing R on the press Y and then press I and then click rotation lo location rotation skill one two three for or you can have as many frames as you want apart um, I just choose three because I don't know it's a quick little eh, hi <laughs> and yo hi yeah see it's a little cute wave and then we'll go ahead and put them back into position. So let's go three frames. Rotate Y till his arm is relatively straight. Actually, no, more like that. And then press I, location, rotation, scale. And now um, we can go on to this, where we will go ahead and go three frames back and press I location rotation scale three frames forward and then rotate on the y-axis down then press I again oh looks like I already did I accidentally pressed uh, I first uh, go ahead and press alt I and that will be make it to where you're able to delete keyframes and then press location rotation scale so his arm kinda quick but um, we're just going, you know, we're <laughs> we're going quick. Uh, so now we can go ahead and go one, two, three. Go I, location, rotation, scale, one, two, three, or Y. Make it to where it's regular. Rotation, lo location, rotation, scale. Okay, now we can go ahead and go three frames back. Rotation, rotation, scale three frames forward, rotate Y, 
go to where it's straight. That looks... Yeah, that looks straight enough. Actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah, that's straight. And then we can press I, okay, rotation scale, and we can go back to here and go one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, just wanted to make sure. And uh, rotate Y, and boom! We have got our little character animation right there. Isn't that c cute? Isn't that cute? Um. But there's also another way to animate. So, go ahead and dupe. Uh, actually, wait. Did I? Okay, good. That's not duplicated. Uh, we'll select everything by pressing A. And then we'll press Shift D. And then press M and move it to the second layer so that we have a new clean slate. Um, so, we'll go ahead and. We'll go ahead and shoop right there. We'll go ahead and press, uh, go into pose mode, select all bones, and now we can press all by. Oh, go right up here. What this will do is, I, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm deleting all of the keyframes for all of the body parts. By selecting every single one, I'm basically viewing all of the keyframes, which is very useful. Um, so, if we play this, nothing happens, which is good because uh, we don't, you know, want anything to happen, basically. So, let's create the same um, um, animation, but with a different method, which is well, it's it's the same thing, but instead. Um, you're doing it in real time, so you don't have to go ahead and press I, um, rotate, or translate it, or scale it. You just have to go ahead and press this. Um, first, I'll go ahead and show you with this, the uh, thing. We'll go ahead and we will press this little button down here which is automatic keyframe insertion for objects and bones. It's, yeah, it's basically that. So we can go ahead and press S. Now we can go 10 frames, S. We can go, oh, that was actually nine frames, but whatever. Go 10 frames. We can go ahead and do that. 10 frames, rotate X, and then we can, oh, that's extrude, rotate X, or S, uh, uh, that's what I pressed, rotate, oh, what have I been pressing, oh, I shouldn't even be pressing anything, okay, okay, now row X, is that straight, yeah, that is, and now we can see our animation play out, and it's perfect, um, which is kind of cool. So now we'll go ahead and... I'm not exactly sure if there's a different method on doing this, but one thing I have to tell you is, um, make sure that you, um, that you delete the keyframes, like, from back to front. There it is. Okay. So now let's do that with the bones, and actually make up that scene that I had made, um, you know, in the last time. Also, make sure that you turn this off when you're done animating, because you can really screw up. Like, say, if I were trying to move this to over here, and I had it on, and I was on a totally different frame, that would really, really screw up your day. Because then you have things moving where they shouldn't be, and things just floating in the air, and it really can screw you up. I've had it happen to me once. Um, I don't think I'll ever make that mistake again. <laughs> so let's actually do the same thing here. Rotate Y. Oh, actually, start. I think to start off an animation, go ahead and just 
you know, actually started off with your, you know, main thing, and then go ahead and do whatever you want from there, um, because it, you can't really start off a uh, keyframe with the keyframe thing without actually having to move, or uh, actually making the keyframe first, um, but this really saves a lot of time, like, uh, if, you know how long it took for me to uh, go ahead and do this without um, this auto keyframing. Oh, duh. Didn't need to do that. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yep, that was done it very quickly. Um, then now we can go ahead and press I. And we can go ahead and go let 10 frames, rotate Y, boop. Now we can go ahead and press I, go ahead and go five, five frames, no, five, then rotate Y, one, two, three, rotate Y, rotate Y, rotate Y, rotate Y, rotate y. <laughs> Sorry if that's getting a little bit annoying, but it, you get the point. It um, it's much easier, and I was able to get more waving than I was able to get in the other one. Also, what's really nice when you're do when you're actually moving things, it says auto keyframing on. So you know if you're closer to that, and actually, what was I at? There we go. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and watch this uh, animation play out. So this was done in what, say, um, two, three minutes compared to the at least five, six, seven minutes uh, with this animation, which only has, by the way, um, let's see, pause mode. About, uh, one, two, three, four, five waves, maybe? This one has d double that, basically. So let's watch it. So the quality of that compared to... Oh, right, yeah, we didn't actually... We didn't actually finish this, did we? Or the other one. Let's see. And, uh, yeah, let's actually go ahead and finish this. Since I have it not yet. So... Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to drop dead on the floor. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right. I turned off. I turned off auto keyframing. Key, keyframingo. Um, yeah, I probably have to. Uh, shoop. Shoop. And now we can go ahead and go here. And go about there. Eh. Go ahead and... To be honest, you really don't need to... When you have this increment thing on, you don't need to press it. But when you're like this, you will have to press Y. But if you're facing a certain direction and you're in orthographic mode... Actually, I'm not sure about that specific orthographic mode thing. But um, I am certain about when you're in perspective because it will it will not be good <laughs> all right uh, nope we want to press i then press this and go down awesome actually uh this could probably go down a little bit more to be honest yeah there we go cool 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 we're all done and it looks pretty cute to be honest, I am going to render this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it at the uh, end near the end of the video. Um, I think it looks really nice. It's cute and it's adorable. If if only I had a face on him, and if only I didn't screw up on um, his body, because I'm not actually sure what happened here. Why am I not right? Because I am using fraps. Yeah, I realized that I was able to actually show movement and stuff, but I wasn't. I'm still not able to use edit mode, so won't be able to use that 
<laughs> showing you guys how to use that anytime soon with fraps. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, if you guys want to see how I uh, how to rig or basic rigging, I'm not showing you how to make a, a super high tech awesome rig like this. Um, where is that? Where is it? Oh, it is somewhere. Probably not anywhere. Uh, there we go. Human meta rig. I'm not gonna be able to show you something like this or show you how to make something like this um, because this is just insanely cool and useful or what's even cooler yeah this one's got a face yeah so uh, this one's pretty cool uh, to be honest I could not show you how did you do this at all but if you'd still like to look at or uh, still want me to show you how to make simple rigs like this I definitely can show you um, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment um, if you want to download the um, if you want to download the blend dot blend file for this um, you can uh, just saying hey don't don't use this model for like uh, anything like uh, other than just practice because um, it took me very very long to think of how to make this a character because I uh, use this in a couple things so please be be nice and don't use this for anything uh, of your own because I mean come on seriously um, unless you have permission from me uh, other otherwise no don't use it if you if you don't have permission from me uh, I I don't even know why you would want to use this model but I mean it's it's cool kind of cool it's cute okay so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, see ya